Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing really well. Today's video, as I have talked about in previous videos, is my long awaited lockdown haul. So these are the collection of products that I've bought whilst we've been in lockdown, and I wanted to share them with you today. I know that this video might not be for everyone because everyone's financial situation has been so different in lockdown and I can totally appreciate that. I work in marketing myself and a lot of our businesses that we work for and we collaborate with, a lot of them have obviously seen a huge decline in revenue. There's a particular brand that's a jewellery brand that I look after at work. Typically they would make £10,000 a week to stay afloat and the last couple of weeks they've been making nowhere near even £100 so it's having a huge effect on businesses I know there's government help but I've ordered a couple of things I've definitely wanted to add to my collection and I think that no matter the brand size and if there is a product that you are after then why not treat yourself but I do get that this type of video might not be for everyone and I truly appreciate that so if it's not that's absolutely fine but if it is I'm going to share with you a lot of different things I've got from clothing, makeup, a couple of other bits, there's some tanning products and stuff like that so without further ado let's get into the video. So the first item that I've picked up whilst we've been in lockdown has been the Spotlight Oral Care Teeth Whitening Systems. Now I got two of these because on Just My Look, which is a fantastic website that always offers free delivery no matter what you order. I hate paying delivery no matter what the product is, so I love that website. Anyway, um, these were a third off. So instead of, I think they're in there like 30 pounds normally which is still really affordable for a teeth whitening system they were like 29 pounds so it made it a lot cheaper and i thought i got two i got one initially and then i ordered the second because i saw so many influencers like lorna lux and lydia elise millen talk about this show results and i was just hooked so whilst they were still on offer i got the second one because i want to do a review of it on my channel i think that that would be really nice so i can show you the results i tried out the crest white strips before i'll leave a link to that above and that was a bit of a disaster and so hopefully this is more successful and i can show you before and afters in here you get two different things you get a whitening toothpaste so this helps alongside the strips and then you also get the whitening strips so you get 14 days worth and that's 28 strips in total in this little felt bag which I think is really cute and also a really good gift if you're struggling on what to get someone and they just come in these little silver pouches so you get 14 different ones they come like that you get a top and a bottom in each sachet and then in the back you also have instructions so let me know down below if you'd like my review of this i'm really excited to try it and hopefully see results because i love trying products to whiten my teeth but i've never found anything has worked as good as i've as i've wanted it if that makes sense so really excited to try that i got two because i am sure based on the reviews that i've read that this is going to be a really good product and because it was on offer and i never see that offer around i thought i'd get two so that's the first thing that i got whilst in lockdown alongside the second spotlight oral care whitening system i got just my fab also had an offer where you got three free gifts worth 11 pounds it made the value of my order so much better and it came with a couple of products that i was genuinely interested in trying out so i got the second one and i got these for free so the first thing is a perfectitude black lip scrub i had a look at this online and i think it's just literally an exfoliating lip gloss yeah Mm. that actually feels quite comfortable mm. I really like that actually so it almost feels like a sugar scrub it's got that kind of consistency really gentle on the lips I can still feel it, I've still got some product on but it still feels moisturising as well so you got that for free and then I also got two little minis from Kerave, I think that the brand is called so you have a cleanser here and an moisturizer here. I've seen so many people on Instagram talk about this brand. I've never tried them, but I've always been tempted to pick up their products because they sound heavenly. So to have two little samples, I'm so excited to try out because like I said, I have really wanted to try the brand out. So this is a really good way to test it, see if it's good for my skin type, see if I get on with the products. And if I do, I will no doubt pick up a bigger size. 
Superdrug online has been my favorite place to shop whilst in lockdown because normally I go into Superdrug weekly and I pick up loads of different bits. I love trying makeup and different products and their online system has been amazing from actually getting essentials to bits that I wanted to try. So I've got a couple of bits from Superdrug that I'm gonna talk you through. Two of which are these foundations. These are the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundations. I got two shades. I got 118 and 220. I've not been fake tanning whilst in lockdown. I have caught the sun because we've had beautiful weather recently, but I haven't been putting fake tan on. But I've got a couple of tanning products to show you because I am gonna start fake tanning soon. And as soon as we're back into the normal swing of things and I'm back at work, I'll be tanning like usual. So I've got these two different shades. Obviously 118, I still think might be a little bit too dark for me now. Perhaps it'll be okay. Um, but this is quite yellow toned. And so the tans I use typically are more yellow or orange in tone. So this would match really well. Well. and then I got one for when I'm my most tan so 220 is definitely a lot more tan than I am right now but by the time I put my tan on this will definitely be a good match I'm sure these were on an offer at the time as well for two for 12 pounds I wanted to get this foundation again I had it in the past and I absolutely loved it it was my like go-to summer foundation a couple of summers ago and it just I remember it feeling so light on the skin so soft and so I thought I would get two more because I remember I loved it so much but just get different shades for me I then got two of my favorite fake tans. These are the Garnier Summer Body. I know that this is a bit of a love or hate tan for a lot of people, but I truly love it. It's so easy because I don't typically always have the time to tan and leave it overnight and wash it off all the time. A gradual tan suits me down to the ground, especially life with a little one. So it makes it so much easier. I love the color. I always get the dark one or it's deep sun-kissed look. And it's so nice, I really love it. These are on offer on Superdrug website for two for £10, and so I got two. I love them so, so much. I just find that the colour is so natural on me, and it goes such a nice, like, golden tan. It genuinely looks like I've been on holiday. So I got two of those to add to my collection. I then also got this Superdrug peel-off mask. So this is just a peel-off mask like I reviewed on my empties video and this is a black seaweed one and it says it deeply cleanses and exfoliates ideal for oily skin which is exactly my skin type at the moment every time summer comes around I get a little bit drier like most people because obviously the sun um, but this is really good I love their peel off masks I feel like these are like the OG face masks and this is always on offer for like 99p so I always seem to get one anytime I'm physically in a super drug store but because I've not been in the super drug since way before lockdown started I got this online because it was so cheap and I just love them. The next two products I'm going to talk about have been sent to me in PR, which I'm so lucky to receive. It truly makes me pinch myself every time PR turns up. The first one is from Skinny Tan and it came in this like travel bag, which I thought was really handy. It's a really good size for when you go away. I have a makeup bag that I think would probably fit in here too and I can put my makeup brushes in and it's all in one place. So I'm really appreciative for that. But what came in here are two products. So you have the Coconut Water Serum. I'm really excited to try this because I tried their serum tan before, their Wonder Serum, and I really like that, especially as it's a tan that does stay on overnight and you wash off the next day. I actually really did like that, and I really like Skinny Tan products. So I'm really excited to try this. I think that this is a clear formula, so there's no transfer. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't let you know how it is, but I definitely will be trying it on my Instagram over the coming day. So keep an eye out over there if you do wanna hear my thoughts on this because I'm going to test it out and I'll share the results with you but really excited to try that because a lot of their tans again really natural tan really gold in color it's like that olivey gold which I think is perfect for a true tan look sometimes they can be too orange and their stuff is really really nice so I'm really excited to try that and then in here as well it's one of my favorite tanning mitts it's the dual tanning mitt basically this is like a velvet consistency that you can use both sides and it washes really well in the machine so really pleased to have a backup one of those because the one I've been using no lie looks terrible so it's really nice to have a new one to use and try out and this I think I'll save for this tan because this one doesn't have like a transfer color it's obviously clear when you put it on so this one I can kind of keep special for that and not ruin it as fast 
For the next PR product, honestly, these guys blow me away every time they do a PR package and I'm so fortunate to be able to receive them, try the products and recommend them to all my friends and family and to you guys because they honestly have filled my entire skincare drawer up and I love them. So it's Pixi products. Pixi is one of my favorite skincare brands. You guys know if you have been a long time subscriber here, I always rave about their skincare products. I do the same over on Instagram because even if I wasn't sent the products, I would still repurchase them because I really love the, the way that it makes my skin look and the benefits and things like that. This is a very exciting collection though. And this is their new retinol collection. I haven't really spoken too much about using skincare on my channel yet but I definitely want to do a video all about my journey with skincare because I have a few skincare issues that I've managed to treat over the last couple of months really it's been an ongoing process and retinol is a pivotal product in that I use a lot of retinol and I love it you have to be a lot more careful when it comes to the sunnier days because retinol makes your skin more sensitive to the sunshine so make sure you use SPF if you use retinol but with that in mind Pixi sent this beautiful package of all their different products and this is their retinol and jasmine collection. This bag, by the way, I have a rose one which was sent with the rose collection a couple of months ago, maybe even a year ago or something, and I take it everywhere. Obviously, at the moment, we haven't been traveling anywhere, but over the last year before lockdown and COVID came along, I'd been away a couple of times and I always take this makeup bag, but in the different design because it's so handy. You can fit so many products in, and it's one that you can actually hang up, which I find so helpful when I'm trying to get ready and I'm like in a hotel or whatever. Really, really good. Anyway, I want to show you a couple of these products that it came with because these look so exciting. The first one is a retinol jasmine cleanser. I love their cleansers. Really, really good for sensitive skin. They're so gentle, but really remove makeup. And I can't wait to try this one. I wonder if I can... It's got a little cover on it. I really want to smell the products. I want to see what they smell like oh they smell good it's like a that reminds me of like a nighttime cream or something and um, that would be really lovely to use before bed I feel like it's quite a calming scent I think that's the jasmine really coming through there I love that smell so we've got a big cleanser I'm currently using their rose cleanser I think I'm using up but this one I'll definitely use next We've got their retinol tonic. Glow tonic is definitely my favorite tonic of the range, but the retinol definitely comes in second place. It's so, so good. Again, if you are trying to treat certain skin issues with retinol, this is a great way to use retinol in your skincare without being too abrasive to the skin, especially if you're new to the retinol journey. You have to be really careful to ease your skin into it. If you go too strong, your skin will just dry and crack and it's really painful. So you really need to like step it up slowly. So at the moment I'm using a 1% retinol from The Ordinary and I'll move on to a 2% percent once I finish that up but this is a great way to start and introduce retinol into your skincare routine if you've never used it before. So here we have two different oils which look really nice. There's a smoothing night oil which is an overnight retinol oil which I'm really excited to try. I feel like that's the oil that I'm going to use the most and then there's this one here which is a jasmine oil blend and it's a radiance recovery oil. That sounds really nice too. I just love it when you put really nice skincare on before bed, you wake up the next day and your skin is glowing. There is just nothing that compares to that feeling when you woke up and you look just glowing and radiant, I love it. There's two more products in here. This one is the Retinol Jasmine Lotion. I rave about all their different lotions and moisturizers before. This looks really, really nice. It's a smoothing moisturizer and I think that this is gonna work really well. Again, because I use so much retinol, I feel like my skin loves it now. And then the last product is a retinol eye cream. This looks amazing, by the way. This has a applicator actually attached to it, which looks so good. Oh my God, that is like remarkable. Can you see that applicator? And then if I squeeze a bit like that, I feel like that is just amazing. It looks really good. And it will really help control the amount of eye cream you're using too. Oh, that feels so lovely and rich already excited to use them so i'm gonna put them all back in but 
Like I said, I'm so excited to try it. Pixie honestly released such amazing skincare. And if you're looking to step up your skincare game, I definitely recommend Pixie products. Some people do consider them a little bit expensive and they are in terms of the high street. You can definitely get cheaper brands, but for me, they are the most consistent. And everything that I've tried from them, I have really loved and I've definitely seen results on my skin, which is what it's all about, of course. And yeah, I definitely would recommend their products. I'm so lucky that I get to try this out. And again, more of a review will be on my Instagram once I've used this for a couple of weeks and I've got my full verdict. So before I show the actual clothing items and the pieces that I bought over the last couple of weeks, I wanted to show you two pairs of shoes that I've bought and I was really excited to buy these. So the first pair, feel like I've become that person are these Nike Air Forces. I actually had an ASOS voucher, so even though these are on the more spenny side, I had some money left in my account, so I really wanted to buy myself a good pair of black trainers. I was eyeing up a few different pairs, but of course the Air Forces get so highly recommended, not only for comfort, but they look really good too. Um, I think I ordered these when ASOS had 20% off. They seem to be doing loads of those like flash sales over lockdown. Um, and I got these towards the beginning of lockdown because I was so sure that I wanted to buy these trainers as soon as they went down. So full price would have been about 89 pound, but I had, I think like 40 or 50 pound left in a voucher to use. So it made it so much more affordable for me. And yeah, I love them. I've been wearing them so much. They go with so many different outfits, whether it's like a summery dress and, or jeans or whatever. Um, Heidi and I have been going out for long walks all the time and so these are really good, they're so comfortable and I can walk in them for literally hours and my feet don't hurt. So I'm so excited to have these and I just have been obsessed, honestly. And then the other pair of shoes that I bought whilst in lockdown are a pair of black Birkenstocks. Again, I feel like the Marmite of the shoe industry. People love these or they hate them. I love them. Um, I remember when I was pregnant a couple of years ago, I really wanted a pair of Birkenstocks and I put it off and I put it off and I never ended up getting them. Whereas last year, I got some white Birkenstocks. I was actually given to them by a family friend and they're so comfortable. I love them. I had them in white. And so this year I decided to treat myself to the black pair. I love these cause they're like a matte finish and it's got the Birkenstock label like embossed in it. And I feel like it's really classic and it again goes with so many different outfits whether you're wearing dresses or jeans I love wearing these with mum jeans and I just feel like they're just so comfy I haven't quite worn these ones in yet I haven't worn them long enough to take Heidi for a long walk because they do rub when you first get them and then they almost like mold to your foot but super comfy I love them and I'm so happy that I have these now I've got them in black and white I've got one for basically whatever I'm wearing okay so I've got a couple of clothing items that I've bought too that I'm going to show you I'm also going to try them on and I'll share those clips with you too so the first item is a pretty basic one I've ordered a couple of things off boohoo over the last couple of weeks but 99% of the stuff I've had to send back because I just find it's just too poor quality the fabric feels too fine it's almost like a swimming costume material and I just haven't liked anything and also their sizing is different I don't know if anyone else has that problem um, but I don't know whether I've been unlucky but this is the one top that I've actually kept and it's just a plain black tee it's kind of long so it's like oversized in style so you can tuck it into jeans or you can wear it more loosely it's completely up to you i typically would tuck it into the front and it just makes you have a little bit more shape but what i liked about this is that it's not just a black tee it's got this like leopard print on the collar and then also on the sleeves too. I just think that these sleeves are really good because they cover like the top of your arm. I know some people that don't like that bit of their arm. And yeah, I just think because it's so plain, but it's got that little bit of detail, I think that it's quite nice. And yeah, I'll show you this on. It's obviously not anything too special, but I think that it looks really cute. So this is the black top with the leopard print trims. I think that this is so nice. I've tucked this in to the pair of shorts and yeah i just think that it's simple um it's kind of no frills but i like the detail and i think it just adds something new i don't have a top quite like this the material doesn't feel too bad considering it's from boohoo and yeah i quite like it i do like the cut and i think this will be really nice through summer and then also winter too so I got two items from H&M. These were the things that I was waiting for before I filmed this video because H&M deliveries have been taking like two weeks. Um, 
first pair are a pair of shorts these are just mum shorts very very basic but i love these i don't have a pair of denim shorts that fit me right now um i had some a couple of years ago and then i had a baby and like things just don't fit like they used to especially where i've got a bit of a mum tum i am trying to work on reducing that but for now it's really warm and i want to have clothes i'm comfortable in so with that in mind i saw these mum shorts and i was like these are perfect they're super high-waisted which i love i am quite tall so i need things that are quite high-waisted for them to look right and they're just super comfy and yeah i just thought these were really good and they were only like 50 15 pounds on H&M as well which I think is so affordable and again I'll show you what they look like on but I really like them these are the mum shorts I'll just lift that up so you can see them a little bit better I am like I said quite tall so I need things that are quite high waisted which these are they go like way over my belly button which is what I prefer and you can also add a belt but I just think that these are a really nice like style I think that they fit really well and they're really good to just tuck things into it's like this black top I could tuck it in in the front or I might even tuck it around the whole way it's just an easy way to style in summer really really easy i feel like everyone needs like black denim shorts and yeah i really really like these again they feel really good quality i feel like h&m stuff like this is always brilliant the second piece of denim that i got from h&m is actually a denim jacket it's just a black denim jacket again you'll see it much better in the try on clip but i totally copied my sister on this she ordered one a couple of weeks ago and she had it she's recently moved back home from uni because obviously uni is all ended and she like showed me it and i was like i'm obsessed do you mind if i buy it and i accidentally bought a different one which is actually better because i think that she doesn't want me to have the exact same denim jacket this one is slightly more cropped but i think that it works really well with me i love having jackets you can just throw on i have a leather jacket that i have like lived and breathed in for the last couple of years so to have another like throw on jacket would be really good this was only 20 pound from h&m which again is a really affordable price for a denim jacket i think that it's gonna last really long and it feels really good quality too sometimes i've tried on denim jackets that just don't feel right like primark ones for me just don't feel sturdy enough whereas this is such good quality i love how dark the black is and yeah i'm really really happy with it The two things that I got from ASOS to finish off this haul, this is a play suit, it's a double strap play suit and I actually wore this yesterday um, which is how I tanned so much and yeah it's pretty like simple, it's quite like baggy shorts at the bottom, it's quite fitted and then got a bit of a low v at the front i really like the double straps i'd always wear this with a strapless bra because i feel like you don't want to distract too much from these i would say this is a little bit big on the top half i got this in a size 12 which i normally am um but i've been finding that i'm sometimes between a 10 or 12 or even a 14 if sizing doesn't quite isn't quite true to size but yeah i thought this was really nice really simple a great type of throw on thing to have in the summer where you want something light and just easy to throw on so i really like that one and this is the play suit so i got this for 11 pounds off of asos which i think is such a good price considering just how easy it is to throw on and yeah i just think this is perfect i wore it the other day when it was boiling hot and it was really easy to wear really lightweight but still kind of like gives me a bit of shape. It just doesn't look like a throw on like dress. I love things that go in here. Again, it slims me down a little bit. And yeah, I thought for the price, this is really good, a good enough length. I've ordered some play suits from H&M in the last couple of weeks that have been too short. Whereas this is a really good length for me. And yeah, I think that it's just so easy. You've got these tassels here, so you could tie them. I've just let them be loose because I think that that's fine the straps here i've got a strapless bra on and i think that they look really nice like that again they add a little bit more detail to what would be a very plain play suit but i just think this is just so perfect obviously we're not going away anywhere at the moment no one's going on holiday but if you were to this would be a really nice play suit to have keeps going on in the sale so like i said i got this for 11 pounds which i think is such a good price but yeah i really really like this i think it's really really well fitted and the v kind of complements my shape as well so yeah and then the last one that i got 
are these mum jeans. I wore these the other day, so I am gonna wash these, but I wanted to show you them before I did. And these are like an off wash. I don't know what it is, like an almost faded black denim. And they're just mum jeans, really, as they say on the tin, just slightly looser fitting. I normally wear skinny jeans 24 seven. They're the only type of product that I like wearing because I'm quite tall and I find that anything too baggy bulks me out because I've got bigger hips than I do like the rest of my legs, obviously. Um, but yeah, I just feel like tighter fitting things just fit a little bit better, but these are slim fit mum jeans and I think that they are so nice on. I really, really like them. And these again were in the ASOS sale and I just thought that I would treat myself, try them on, obviously you can send them back if they're no good, but I really like these. These are the mum jeans here. I'm not too sure if I'll be able to show you them any further back, but they cuff at the bottom. Okay, I know that's a really terrible angle, but they do kind of cuff there at the ankle. I feel like these are really complementary to my shape. They really come out of my hips, but come in towards the top, which makes you look a little bit slimmer, which I definitely prefer. They're not that tight fitting, which they kind of have the silhouette of skinny jeans, but they don't have the uncomfort, which is definitely what I like. They come up at a really good point, so you could have like a crop top on, and I feel like this is the part of my body that I like the most because it slims me in a little bit and they help me do that. So you could wear a crop top or you could wear like baggier things. I've just tucked that black leopard print top into my bra just to show you. But yeah, I really like these. I think that they're super comfy. I've worn them a couple of times, so I definitely need to wash them. But yeah, I really like these ones. So that's everything I got during lockdown. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I really, really appreciate it. I'm also gonna have another hair mask video next, which is a more affordable one that takes a lot less time. So I'm really excited to share the results with that one. So make sure you are stay tuned for that. And don't forget to ring the bell. You'll be notified when I upload next as well. I'm currently uploading every Wednesday and Saturday, so I'd love to have you around. And with that, I will see you guys soon. Bye.